For this part of the piece in the right hand, I like to think of this as chord blocks, and the pattern just repeats. Our third finger is going to start here on this A with E octaves. Now thinking about where our third finger moves to next, it goes to the F sharp with C sharp octaves. Then third finger jumps to D sharp with G sharp octaves. Those three chords we just played get repeated again, now at this next lower octave. So here, we jump to our A again, then F sharp, then D sharp, and then we play those all once more time. Here at this A, and then F sharp, and then D sharp. Now as we approach the end of this section, we play this chord again. Then we play the D sharp, but go to A octaves. Then play the D sharp, going to G sharp octaves once again. Play that D sharp again, this time going to F double sharp. F sharp and double sharp right there. Then the D sharp again, back to the G sharps. So at that point, we've just played G sharp, A, G sharp, F double sharp, back to G sharp. And then lastly, we change the inside note right here with the G sharps. So if I turn the metronome on to that quarter note equals 74 and play the chords broken as written, this is what we'll have. Ready? Play. section.